highlights of the second of the Benson Hedges World Series Cup Finals. This one played at the Sydney Cricket Ground, the first having been decided at the Melbourne Cricket Ground last Sunday, with West Indies winning by two runs to go to a 1-0 lead. Their best of three finals, so England had to win this one to stay in the race and make sure that the third one would be played on Thursday. $32,000 prize money for the team winning these finals, $16,000 going to the loser. The game being played, 50 overs a side, starting at 2.30 in the afternoon and going through under lights. And the two teams exactly the same as took part in the first match of the series last Sunday in Melbourne. England decided that they would keep boycott at the top. He came through a fitness test and uh, he was okay to play. And they've kept in Larkins in their side. Brearley is listed to go in at seven and Embury, the off spinner, has held his place in the side. West Indies, well, they've decided to stick with the team that won the Potential World Cup final at Lords last year and won the match in Melbourne on Sunday. Well, Mike Brearley won the toss at the Sydney Cricket Ground and decided to bat. A departure from his tactics in Melbourne where he gave West Indies first use of a very good batting strip. And we pick up play now in the eighth over of uh, the England innings. It's 16 for no wicket. Michael Holding is bowling to Geoffrey Boycott and in the commentary box, Bill Laurie and Tony Gregg. Oh, Boycott gets that through mid wicket off his toes. Glorious shot. Three comfortable runs. It's Malcolm Marshall does the fielding, substituting at the moment for Colin Croft. We're out these opening bowlers, even though it's only a 50 over game and got to get on with it. It's just the same. Got to keep those quickies out. And that's a good shot. Pick that one through. That's Kanacha running. He flings himself up the ball, and there he is. Gucci picked up it beautifully just outside the leg stump. Four runs. That's Gucci's first boundary. The shout for LBW and he's gone. Get him with the Yorker. Well picked up, trying to play it on the onside. Joel Garner breaks through and gets the vital wicket of Gooch. It's well pitched up this one, the attempt at Yorker and Graham Goods just hitting across it, in fact hitting him on the boot. So England now one for 40 after 12 overs. Ooh, what a good throw there by Liz Richards. was a magnificent piece of fielding. Brad Diffridge and throwing off balance. Peter Willey getting back, just getting back in time. In fact, just inching for that crease there. Pitcher tells the story. Oh, he's got that one away. One of his favourite shots, that square drive. Four runs to both of he likes that shot very much indeed. The end of Joe Garner's over. The score now moving on. It's one for 47. He likes that. And he's got it away. It'll be two or three here. They'll be looking for three for sure. Peter Willie going back between. In fact, it's uh, Joe Garner's kicking it over the boundary. And it's gone for four. Four runs to boycott off that last ball from Colin Croft. Is that over? And it's now one for 52. And he goes for the big one over the mid-wicket long on area, but in tied down Joe Garner. Still firing away at that leg stump. And he's got through and hit that leg stump. Just a little bit tied down here, Keith. There's some good tactics by the West Indies. They've worked Peter Willey's game out to perfection, just concentrating on the pads, which eventually led to his downfall. Joel Garner's second wicket. Two for 54, England. No, 
That's in the air. It's over the top. And uh, let's see if it'll hit in the turf and go all the way. Yes, it does. The boycott lifting it over the top. Perhaps he didn't get hold of it quite as well as he wanted, but that was enough. And it's through. Robert got his hand there, but couldn't stop it, and it's gone for four. That away very well indeed. That's four more runs. And he's put that over the top of mid off. Now, fine shot. This is fine batting by Boycott. Master craftsman, and he's really taking toll of Richard. So a run off every ball in that over, six runs coming off it, and these two bowlers proving expensive as England move up to 490. That's a very good hit, that's gone. Four runs, and England have gone to 101. Finish the over at two for 105. Boycott needs one for his 50. And that's it, he's done it in the most commanding fashion. Punched it beautifully, two extra cover for four. Superb shot. Boycott in great form here. Moves to 50. That is now 53 in just about two hours. 79 deliveries, and that's his best four. And that's dropped. Boy, boy, it's dropped the skitter. Boycott trying to spear that ball through mid-wicket. Get it straight. A rally catch to five, Roy, and he put it down. That's out. A great two of the West Indian feeder. Chow just trying to send that ball through the gully. Holding strike, three for 118. Yeah, a very good shot by David Gary. He's trying to run that ball through that gully area. It was too near to him to play that shot in the finish. He's, he's trying to get away from it. It's an easy catch for Derek Murray, and that's three for 118. Could be out, he's hooked it. Out! Gordon Greenwich, sitting on the deep backward square leg boundary, takes a well judged but straightforward catch and a vital back to the West Indian. Course right out to a magnificent 63. A beautiful inning, this. It was a different pair, that's a hook shot, it was a big ground. And there, Gordon Greenwich, the shadow of the stand, waited for that ball and takes it absolutely beautiful and that's a wicket the West Indies really wanted and he'll be very disappointed but that's the fourth wicket down for 126. Both of them are 17, it's 4 for 156. 
people will be angled in and uh, seeing that off stump. Uh, he might well have got a little bat on that, I think. Uh, trying to hit the ball out on the offside. So the end of Larkin. After this over, there'll be five overs to go. And West Indies are steadily pegging back the England batsmen. If they were to score at five and over, they would only just reach the 200 mark now, whereas earlier it seemed they would set West Indies a target of around 220. Great shot. What a superb piece of time. And applause there from Bairstow for Botham. Bairstow looked for two. And will go as he did in Melbourne the other day when he and Brearley were running so well at the end of the innings. in trouble here. Yes, what a great throw. Greenwich with a beautiful piece of cricket from Gordon Greenwich. He sensed that really was coming back. And he hammered it in with a lovely flat throw straight to Derek Murray. And really, really had no chance. Well, really got the ball away right in the first instance and uh, the mistake he made was turning for the second. He came in like a flash, Gordon Greenwich, and what a beautiful throw, right over the stumps and really not even near her. And up comes the 200 for England. So there's a target for the West Indies now. 7 for 201. First on 15, Embury 3. Good thinking, John Embury. The first time will go back. And that man doesn't even bother to uh, get it into the keeper's gloves, but breaks the stumps. They pick up a single there. It's taking them now on to eight or 208 from the full 50 overs. Well, that's better than it might have been for England, 208 for eight, with that splendid little partnership between Botham and Bairstow pushing them along at the end of the innings, 33 in just 20 minutes. A top-class performance from Geoffrey Boycott. He's batted well all the summer here, and that 63 just put the icing on the cake as far as Boycott was concerned. A good effort from both of them, who had a very good match. And uh, the West Indian bowling, Roberts 2 for 31, Garner 2 for 44. But I thought uh, the top-class performance, as far as they were concerned, was Colin Croft, who bowled 10 overs, three maidens, and uh, took one for 29. We pick up play now in the West Indian innings. It's the second over. They are three for no wicket. It's um, Dilly coming into bowl from the northern or Paddington end, bowling to Greenwich. And your commentators are Tony Cozier and Keith Stackpole. It's got to be a wide and could go for four as well. Boy got coming around, just getting there in time, and in fact, looking very badly. And he can put himself down there. Boy got crashes to the ground in front of the south screen. Very healthy average there for Gordon Greenwich in these limited overs matches. Perhaps that through. Long chase here for Bolton. Really good to time it all that well, but still will get four on four. So that's 
the last ball of the over, the West Indies have had a good start, but no wicket for 26 after five overs. They're going to come for a second. Good running. And that's over throws. That's a very loose return. Bairstow did get up for it. And the back's going to cross for two over throws to make it four all run. Well, you don't see that very often in English fielding. And that's gone towards the boundary. That's gone all the way. That's four run. Good hit by Greenwich, really clobbered. That's four runs, that's a superb shot. This is the 13th over of the innings. Just wide, would have been a first hit catch. They're still making a desperate effort to get to it, but of course there's no slip on that four. Michael holding with the towel over his head, almost like a boxer, preparing for a bout. Give him out, he's dead before. That's the first wicket gone. Once again, a bad shot by Desmond Haynes. And the West Indies are 1 to 51. This bad shot by Desmond Haynes, Tony, as you commented on. Should have just played straight up and down the line. No need for that shot in this particular situation. The West Indies 1 for 61. been great and Gooch is behind square leg and a good throw there must have stranded the batsman he must have been out uh, at least a yard if the ball had been over to the stumps great shot and a good try from Wayne Arkins Too short. That's one of the strikes we'll remember all summer. As good a shot as you could see. their son with his four runs every time for that fellow and equally good a stroke super shot there oh. the ball called and it's uh, not often you see anyone in the England team or the West Indies team ball or no ball compared with what's been done by the Australian ball of this year. And that one brought up 100 for West Indies. One for 101. Greenwich is 44. Richards 31. That's 50. Well tied. Fine fire for the West Indies throughout the series. Yes, he's in fine form, Gordon Greenwich, and that was a marvelous innings. Innings which could help earn his side thirty-two thousand dollars. Which is hit in the air. Bob Wallace is down there, and he drops it. Dear, oh dear, a sitter. My word, that was a sitter. A vital wicket for England, and Bob Wallace is put it down. Vivian Richards, hitting it high in the air. Willis hardly had to move. And my goodness, he hardly laid a hand on it.
That struck, oh, magnificent effort by Ian Bradford. You can hardly call that a chance. Straight all around, throwing himself to his right. And putting down Vivian Richards. Section good, Greenwich. He smashed that one off the middle of the bat. And a magnificent effort by Botham now. That's the difference between when things are going well for a side and when they aren't. Himself room that hems it to Mike Wheeler. He misfilled the cover. The bad bounce and four runs. Beats him again. But dear, oh dear. Average of 116, and uh, that really tells the story. What a great season he's had. Fine player, probably the best player in the world at the moment, judging from the way he's played this year. Greenwich beats Will Whitman it on. It was beautifully placed by Gordon Greenwich. That's four runs. It's a glorious shot. And that's four more as he beats clearly at Taco. And Gordon Greenwich using his feet, a pat on the back from the champion Richard. Eight fours for Gordon Greenwich. Richard's off his 50. Round before, but it's great fire. Standing ovation from the hill. Yet another 50 for Vivian Richards. Oh, he really is an unbelievable player. Vivian Richards, uh, that five will go from that. There it is. 50 and 66 balls, just 76 minutes. That's just hard to keep cover. Larkin for Fieldsman, one run. Well, he played some marvellous streaks earlier on, but uh, none of them any better than that. to more experienced bowlers than Graham Dilly. Oh dear, that's really rubbing it in, isn't it? Just, he's hit it to four off the back foot, now he's gone under the front foot. Picked it up the next delivery. First bounce into the fence. And the picture tells the story there. England were five for 155 at this stage of the game. And that's up in the air, and it's going to both them. Surely this time, Richards will be out, and he's taken by Ian Bolton. Peter Williams getting his first wicket. That of prize of Viv Richards, and that is the second wicket going down for the West Indies. Viv Richards, Corby Ian Bolton, Boulder, Peter Willey for 65. Viv Richards going once too often to the big hit, getting a top edge. Straight up in the air, and Ian Bolton digging it perfectly, waiting for it. He seems to get there for ages. There it goes, and Ian Bolton's got it. But the second wicket down, the total is 180 for two. Really, it's two for one hundred and eighty-eight. If they just want the ball in there, that's a short delivery. And cut it to run like them. That's four runs. No one has got to be chased up. Not a regular delivery. So for now, is two for one hundred and ninety-seven.
the end of the over. Gordon Green is getting the single, and so therefore keeping the strike. It takes him on to 92. He needs eight for his century. Two for 200. M3. He's safe. And a win for the West Indies. And they just need a single there, that's it. Greenwich finishes on 98, not out. And West Indies have won the second Benson and Hedges World Series Cup final by eight wickets. They take the cup, having won the first match in Melbourne on Sunday by two runs in a thrilling encounter. This one in Sydney quite different today and tonight. It was a clear cut win for the West Indies. Well, that's a conclusive victory for the West Indians. They achieved their 209 run target in just 47.3 overs. Great batting from Greenwich and Richards for this crowd of 20,840 people. Just two wicket takers as far as England were concerned. Both of them won for 28 and Willie one for 35. The man of the finals, Gordon Greenwich, for his outstanding batting in Melbourne and here in Sydney today. And uh, the player of the whole series was named as Vivian Richards. Well, a triumph for West Indies. They've not been beaten in any major limited over competition that uh, I've been watching over the years. And uh, Mike really had it just right at the end when he classed them as the best limited over and possibly the best uh, test match team in the world today and uh, I agree with that and really they do take some beating they've got a massive batting side and a very very good pace bowling side well that's it the Benson Hedges World Series Cup to the West Indies 2-0 they pick up $32,000 in prize money for taking first prize Mike Brealey's side gets $16,000 and the next match we'll be showing you on the highlights will be the final test of the Australia West Indies Series that is played in Adelaide commencing next Saturday good evening Thank you.